Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you for our time together. We're back in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 today as we understand the church, the local church in the city of Corinth. But right now, let's go back in our Bibles to the book of Luke chapter 19, beginning with verse 28. After telling this story, Jesus went on toward Jerusalem, walking ahead of his disciples. As they came to the towns of Bethphage and Bethany and the Mount of Olives, he sent two disciples ahead. Go into that village over there, he told them, and as you enter, you will see a colt tied there that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you what you're doing, just say, the Lord needs it. So they went and found the colt, just as Jesus had said. And sure enough, as they were untying it, the owners asked them, why are you untying our colt? And the disciples simply replied, the Lord needs it. So they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their garments over it for him to ride on. I just want you to notice the phrase, the Lord needs it. Sometimes you and I have this impression that God doesn't need anything. And in one sense, he doesn't. In one very real sense, God doesn't need anything. But God has made us stewards of things. And there are times when God needs to use something that he has given us the stewardship over. Yes, he owns it all, and we're just the steward, but he needs to use something he has entrusted to us. The Lord needs it. I want to ask you today, will you let the Lord use the things that he has entrusted to you? If he wants you to use that beautiful new car or SUV that he, he blessed you with to bring people to church, are you willing to do that? Or do you want to selfishly come to church all by yourself? that new house that God has given you, and you're so proud of it, are you willing to use it to have a Bible study and teach the Word of God? I just challenge you today, what, whatever you have, if the Lord needs it, can He use it? Now, at this stage of my life, I'm very blessed. I've, I've known real poverty in my life, and I've known real prosperity and blessing. And like Paul says, I know how to abound, and I know how to be abased. It's not a problem. But i tell you one thing I've learned in life. Whatever I have, I recognize it belongs to God. And if he needs to use it, it's his.